Hey guys, it's Alexander the Gamer here, and you're looking at some Shokun 2 Fall of the Samurai. So, previously I had a campaign going on, it's the Choshu, right here. Uh, I got a little bit into it, I had two episodes up, and uh, two nights ago I was recording some more, and it kinda went just kaput. I was just, it got to the point where I was just gonna be in a slow death spiral, and I wasn't gonna get out of it, and I could've done episodes on it, but it would've been boring for the viewer. So, um, uh, da -da -da. so I was going to do a new one. In my own personal time, I have a Nagoka game going on, and it's going very well. Um, I don't think I'm going to do another faction up here, because both of these are Shogunate and in the north. I'm not going to do another Choshu. The Setsuma are kind of easy. So you start with two provinces, then you can just conquer this island really easily. Uh, and the Sioux, I don't know if I'm ready to play as the Sioux yet. Which leaves the Tosa. And their red hair. Oh yeah! So we're going to be playing a long campaign. It'll be on normal difficulty until I get a little better at that. Um, There'll be no battle time limit, we won't we'll show CPU moves, no advisors, don't search constantly for drop-in battles. And that's that. So we'll talk about these guys. So this is the Tosa. They are pretty much the Chosukabe from the base game. Uh, their initial challenge is easy. They start with one province. Their traits are tact, plus 10 diplomatic relations. Respect, plus one reduction to resistance to occupation across all provinces. So you pretty much have to wait one less turn before your provinces will be happy. Pretty much. Uh, barrage, plus two naval bombardment range. So it means that, like, when your ship sails up, so let's say this is the map here, and you're, and this is the city. And your ship sails up, but stops just a little ways away, and it, normally it would just be a little out of the range. You could just, the range is extended some. I don't know how big it's extended, but it's extended a little bit, so that I can barrage. Uh, and seafaring, plus two experience for all ship crews, which is not so great. Their traits aren't that good, but um, for the most part, traits are pretty bad. Like, this, like, <laughs> traditional units are really powerful in the early game, and these guys make them even more powerful. So early game for these guys is really easy, though it's hard, but they, it's because they have lots of enemies. They can expand very easily, though late game is when it gets hard. Um, <coughs> in the late game, they have just um, the exact same as everyone else, modern units. Um, that's great, so you're pretty much playing as a faction that's only bonus is having a couple of unique units. And I like those unique units, the uh, Azure Fire, uh, the Azure Dragon Soldiers, and the Black Tortoise Infantry, which is kind of cool. And the Josai, which are just ambush guys. Um, this one's really good. They can replenish an enemy territory, except for in winter months, which is really good. Every few guys will help. But yeah, that's about it. The Satsuma are just so powerful. More money. Uh, cheaper foreign veteran actions. They start with two provinces. Which, I mean, they start with an extra province, but they lose the fourth ability. They have 15% increased to journal's radius of influence, which is okay. The Choshu have a zeal. Nah. Um, this is really good. Minus 10% cost of modern military units and buildings. It's insane. That makes it saves it quite a bit of money. So, uh, marauding plus my income from looting. I don't usually loot things. Uh, plus recharge bonus for all units, which is also really powerful. Um, let's see. And then you have the suit. I just don't like them at all. Melee defense, eh. Cost shinobi actions, eh. Furtiveness, number of Kisho Ninja units available. I don't usually like those Kisho Ninja. And plus 2% allegiance conversion, which is okay. So we're playing as the Tosa. None of the abilities are particularly great. And we're going to play as them and we're in. That's the thing. I'm pretty sure it's, um... They get the Black Bear Infantry. And then the White Bear Infantry and the Red Bear Infantry. Which we'll see later. Uh, let's start this game going. I'm just going to skip through the intro video that shows up. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, at this point, and I've seen it quite a few times, and you can just ask me to show you it, but it, it just add like another five minutes onto the video or make it like uh, five less of actual gameplay. Um, and on top of the time that I spent talking, um, doesn't help very much, if you know what I mean. Um, plans, well, what would you normally do? You're just going to take over your island. I think it's like four, maybe five provinces on the island. Um, I was looking yesterday and earlier today to find like an expanded Japan version of Fall of Samurai. Well, I wasn't able to do that, which really made me sad. Um, because that mod was really good. And if you don't know what that mod is, uh, I suggest you go check it out on um, Steam Workshop or wherever else, uh, mod DB stuff like that. It's really good. Uh, it pretty much it is like a, a 30, a, a 60, a 90, and a 100, or 120, or something like that. And it just adds a ton of provinces. It actually like makes this, this, this ginormous province here, stretching from here to this side of the island here, would probably be like two or three provinces instead. And stuff like that. That's what it does. Um... On this island, a navy is going to be very good. We start with uh, two gunboats and a um, chitin class. I mean, the chitin's fine, but the two gunboats are just so weak. I mean, the extra bombardment is fine. And I'm not going to say, no, I don't want the extra bombardment. But, I mean, the rest is just uh, its not that great. Uh, the advantage starting is the Tosa. You start with a cadet school in your capital. Of Tosa. Hmm. So you start off being able to recruit, instead of just levy infantry, or spear levy and infantry, you can recruit saber cav, spear levy, line infantry, scouts, which I normally don't bring any, just because I don't like their unit size. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to run over this. I'm actually going to have to change something, but the video should still be fine, and I'll do that. Um, Tosa doesn't start with any unique resources, which is too bad, but they start with a cadet school, which is great. So I want to get arms deals fairly quickly. Hmm. Um, not really going to worry about that now, are we? Yeah, we'll start with arm deals first. Uh, diplomatically, only the two factions we know is the Oka. Or the three factions, sorry, the Oka, the Azu, and the Tokushima. Which will probably break our alliance and go to war with them eventually. Yeah, that's that. As you command. As you command. Destination reached. Ready up to your command. Marching now. Hmm. Because of our, uh... Having cadet school. Happiness is not so good. So we'll want to get a large town. And get a tenant field. Want to pick up a saber cav. Question comes down to, do we want proper infantry units now or later I can't see later being a better choice like I'll play the video here I'll catch you guys next time this would be Alexander the Gamer and I am